Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cosmin. I'm making beauty videos and in today's video we are going to do another series of unboxings. I know until now I used to do No Make No Life but I uh, decided to cancel that after I tried some of their products and I didn't enjoy them. So now I decided to uh, get another subscription. Actually, I've been subscribed to this box before, but uh, I canceled I think like a year or two years ago. So now I decided to go back into it. And that is boxy charm right here this is the base one and this is for the month of february month uh month of march is coming i think it, sh it would be the it's gonna get delivered here anytime soon and also i'm gonna have the premium box as well but i will show you that when that shows up for now i have boxy charm uh for the month of february so let's unbox this and put it on my face i only had my eyebrows down done and my foundation that is all and i want to make sure if i get anything over here i'm gonna be able to put it on my face so you can see how it looks like but yeah let's uh let's open this thing up here we go Okay, so ah uh, wow I guess <laughs> I should have waited with foundation too right um this is um beauty sponge this is called Illuminati cosmetic sponge this it's not feeling very soft you know what I mean so I don't know how I feel about this one I don't I don't think I'm gonna like it that much but we will see in a different video I'm gonna update you about this all right next next something that i see in here well there's a bunch of things okay let's go with this one right next i have these three brushes that are from almar oh okay i got some things from almar before in this boxes i think i got eyeshadow palette and i do love the eyeshadow palette so these are really nice and soft you know what? I'm gonna spray them and I'm gonna play with them today and see how they are. There we go. Clean them a little bit. But yeah, this is how these are. I love this one. Uh, this one is really nice. I think this one might be. Ah, uh, this is a bronzer brush. Really? I thought this would be more like a foundation brush. But, okay, bronzer brush, this one is brightening brush right here, and this one is complexion brush. And then we have this thing, Seattle London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. So where do you put this on? Two areas with concealer to bake and set makeup. Leave three to five minutes and sweep off excess for a crease free soft focus finish so that is how it looks like it looks uh, very white i don't think it has any shades i think that's how it comes you know so i probably only gonna apply this under my eyes but we're gonna do that right at the end now let's keep unboxing i see here we have what is this oh Is this it's like Oveen or Deveen or in wifey Oveen? I have no idea. This is how it looks like. I have no idea how you pronounce that, but it is in the shade wifey and it's a matte liquid lip and is a satin finish. Okay, Qveen. Oh, I see now. It's a cube. Cuvine. Oh, interesting. Uh, it's a, uh, the shade is going to be okay, so I think that's okay. Well, let's see. Last thing in here. We have a palette. So, what's this palette all about? Oh, this is Iconic London palette, and it says Day to Slay Eyeshadow Palette. 
create endless beautiful look with these 20 highly pigmented pink peach bronze and gold shades okay whoa my goodness look at those colors love those colors <gasps> Wow, I hope they're gonna be like really good because the way they look is just like I'm dying for. So good, so good. We don't have a concealer in the box, so I'm just gonna apply my own. Um, and uh, which one should I apply? I have no idea, but I'm gonna go with this one. Why not? I have e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I haven't, I've tried this a few times. I'm not necessarily loving this one, but I want to try it a little bit more and just make sure I'm still, I'm still in the same area. Oh, well, you know, see, we can use this one for my concealer. doesn't seem to be working that great so I'm gonna go and wet this and come back I'm back I wetted this and hopefully it's gonna go better because it was not doing a very good job I, I still don't like this one, so I'm just going to apply a little bit more of my one, my right and eye, my shape tape, because I don't, I don't know. This concealer just kind of stays on top. I, just, I don't know how to explain it, but I don't like it. I'm going to make a video real soon with things that I've tried and I have not been liking them. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this. All right, now that's much better. Let's apply this powder and see how this thing is gonna go. By the way, this um, little sponge, not a big fan of. Um, definitely not gonna use this for. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna use this at all. I have a lot of other sponges that are doing really good for me. So this one for me is a no. Let's go with this one and see how this is gonna perform. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use their brush, the Almer brush, the brightening brush. It smells like coconut. All right, so we're gonna leave that baking underneath. I'm gonna spread it around on top. Because they said let it bake for three to five minutes, right? So we're gonna do that. Meanwhile, we're gonna play with the eyeshadows and then see how they go. Ah, oh, they're so pretty, so gorgeous. All right, let me get this thing because it kind of bothers me. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There's so many beautiful shades in here. Oh my, I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with, with In The Nude and apply it all over my eyelid. That is nice. And then I'm gonna go with, oof, there's so many beautiful ones. Which one, which one? I'm gonna go with Bellini. And this one right here. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm loving it already. Let's see. And whew, there are a lot of days, Mondays. Those are, that, that is a fun one. Um, 
I think I'm gonna go with Deep Soul right here a little bit. Just kind of like make that area a little bit darker, smoke it out a little bit. Not gonna go with a lot. Yeah, I think that's good. So I'm gonna go a little bit on this section too. There we go. Now, hmm, what should I do? 24 karat gold. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that right here. So I'm applying it with my finger right in the center. Oh yeah, I love that. And then I'm gonna put a mm, marshmallow right over here on my inner corner. All right, and now I'm just gonna blend everything together. Oh, love that. That looks so pretty. And I'm going to do a little bit of something under my eyes. Let's see what. I'm going to do Peaches and Dreams combined with this top to top. Now let me clean this uh, uh, baking powder and see how it looks like. It looks really nice. I mean, uh, is it better than my current favorite? No, it's not. <laughs> But it looks okay. Mm, I don't know. We'll see how it's going to stay on for the rest of the day. But yeah. I don't have anything else from them to try other than that lipstick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off camera, apply a little bronzer, and finish up the rest of my face. Come back and apply that lipstick and see how it goes. Alright guys, so I went ahead and apply some bronzer. Let me show you what I actually put on. As a bronzer, I use Fenty Beauty and Caramel Cutie. For a highlighter, I went with Hustler Baby Kilowatt from Fenty Beauty as well. For my uh, blush, which I went a little overboard, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the blush and that is ColourPop. X Sailor Moon and this is in the shade from the moon right there and uh, I set all my uh, face with fit me in medium from Maybelline New York so yay <laughs> now let's try this uh, lipstick right let's see how this goes I don't know if I should um, apply a little bit of my eyeliner or not but I'm I think I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna do just a little bit I have here a KKW nude lip liner and nude too and this is a very very dark color which I love So we have that line and let's put this thing interesting name wifey <laughs> let's see all right so that's how that one looks like it's really nice I had to go over it a bunch of times though to make it like this thick to cover everything. 
Uh, and now it's a satin finish, so I'm waiting for it to dry and see how it feels. But other than that, it looks really nice. And it looks really nice with the lip liner that I put on. So let me come close and show you how my eye look and everything looks like. Here we go. This is how the eye look turned out to be. Let me get that out. And under my eyes, you can see I got a bunch of creases over there. Uh, really, I really don't like that powder. I'm definitely not going to use that powder. I don't like that um, little sponge either. Not my favorite at all. The palette, I love. I love the colors. And I love how everything went. It's really pretty. Um, the lipstick looks nice now it dry down so it looks really good it does sink into my lines as you can see it does so uh, keep that in mind you know if you don't like such things probably I'm gonna apply a little bit of a lip gloss on top of it so I don't get that creasing during the day but other than that yeah that's what it is and I did use their brushes for applying everything on my face, which it did apply really nice. So that's a good thing. But yeah, that's all. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will definitely see you next time with another video. I hope you like this type of unboxing. Let me know down below if you do. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Have a nice one. Bye.